Welcome to Spiritual Awakening Family. A few years ago, I met and then separated from my twin flame. What came after was an intense period of coincidences and psychic development, which I chose to believe were spiritually inclined. I discovered and then subscribed to Twin Flame lore within a few months after separation, and for a few months after that, I seemed to have discovered something new every day. I was very much aware of how much I was growing, how much my heart chakra was expanding, and how much my psychic abilities were developing. I was rather encouraged and excited as all the pain that I have been feeling seemed to be molding me into a stronger more evolved human soul, and it seemed that my twin flame reunion was within the reach of the palm of my hand. And then it wasn't. The synchronicities stopped. The growth rate decreased. The psychic abilities diminished. The hope lost. What happened? Well, the turning point in my development seemed to be when my twin flame discovered my beliefs and, although very supportive with my own growth, rejected any insinuation that she was involved with any of this at the human or soul level. She thought she was being honest and encouraging, she wanted me to admit that it was all coming from within me and that she had nothing to do with it. While she was correct in the fact that it was all within me, her role in this awakening process which she completely dismisses is undeniable. If it wasn't for our connection and separation, I wouldn't have gone through this particular path, and I wouldn't have come as far as I have. She was definitely instrumental in this process, whether she likes to admit it or not. But her resistance to the idea saddened me. It saddened me so much that I began to question my own intuition, were we really twin flames? Is there even such a thing as twin flames? Is all this just an ego trip for me to escape the painful truth that I have been rejected? I have been plagued by these thoughts for the past year, and the state of confusion has rocked me off my steady path of growth and got me into a muddy stream of fighting with me own ego. While I believe that she meant well in trying to get me to downplay or negate her role in my development, it initially had the adverse effect. What she didn't realize that she was the foundation of my newly found core beliefs. All my spiritual exploration, self-introspection, channeling and revelations have stemmed from one major belief that twin flames do exist and she is mine. Take that away from me and the entire house of cards fall apart. Take that away from the equation and all my experiences lose its credibility. I lose faith in the universe, I lose faith in magic, and I lose faith in love. The cornerstone of my entire existence and happiness in this newly created reality that I choose to live in is predicated on the fact that she is my twin flame. Without this foundation, Nothing makes sense to me anymore, and I am totally lost and confused. Without this foundation, then the last few years were nothing but a mere delusion that I have been keeping myself in. I do not want to live my life being deluded. As the months passed by, I have become more aware that many twin flames share my same predicament and have fallen in the same trap. I have also come to realize the magnitude and pressure that I am putting on my poor twin flame by making her the foundation on which I base my entire life purpose. It may be romantic as hell, but essentially I have come to realize that it is rather selfish on my part and terribly suffocating for her. By making her my foundation, anything she says to refute whatever I believe in would lead to me crashing down as her validation becomes a very important element in the equation. No matter how much I would tell myself and try to force myself not to rely on any reassurance from her part, it becomes a default necessity as I have placed her, or my experience with her, in a role where she isn't supposed to play. 
this role essentially goes against her free will, and what would thus ensue is a metaphysical tug of war going on, which delays both the growth of both parties and any hope for reunion afterwards. I remember that I would be extremely discouraged with myself if I would notice that she was not going through the same experiences and growth that I was, and I would discard everything that I have done in the past few years as a result. I kept reading that true twin flames are those that mirror each other, meaning that she must be somehow developing the same way that I am, but perhaps in a different way. This was very damaging for me as I would exhaust myself mentally trying to find excuses or scenarios for her that would fit into my desired reality just so she could somehow be mirroring me. Then came the thoughts of, well, she may be your false twin, or this could be just a catalytic experience, and my heart would sink. Rather than encourage me, these thoughts, most of those which are echoing articles being read online, dragged me down and made me lose hope. They hurt me. They made me angry. They made me sad, sadder than I have ever remember being. None of this was helping me grow. None of this was helping me evolve. Much later, her words to me started to echo in the caves of my mind over and over, she said this is all within me, could there be another layer to what she meant? Perhaps a hidden message that her OR my higher self wanted to plant within me, only to spring at the right moment? What if this entire twin flame separation process becomes nothing more than readjusting our spiritual foundations? Think about it, many of us are where we are now because of these soul connection experiences. We believe what we believe because of them, so therefore, they are the root of who we are today. When someone pokes at our roots, we become vulnerable and susceptible to pain especially when that someone is the one we love who is refusing to acknowledge or validate our experiences, A.K. Dada running. We all keep saying that we don't need them for validation, and we keep echoing this mantra over and over that we are self-sufficient, but are we really? I know that I am not, at least not yet. I kept on insisting to myself and everyone that I do not need her to believe for me to keep going and developing, and I was entirely convinced of that but my actions say otherwise. If this was the case, why do I lose hope and connectivity to Source whenever she says something that shakes my belief system? If we were to take these twin flame stages seriously, I would say that I am personally stuck between surrender and radiance. I am surrendering in the sense that I am not chasing after her anymore trying to convince her of anything, not even on an energy level. I am not in radiance because I feel bitter, I feel cheated by the universe, which on an intellectual I know is not possible, but this is what I feel nevertheless. I feel like I have lead on a wild goose chase, and that my twin is rather oblivious to everything. In order for me to move on to the next stage, one of two things needs to occur, either she validates my experiences and therefore strengthens my foundations once more, or I would just change my foundation. I have tried the way of ignoring this experience and denouncing twin flames and all that and that didn't work out too well for me as it got me more confused than ever. I must admit that there were many times in the past that the universe did bring her to me at critical times in my path to indirectly give me the reassurance that I need, be it in synchronicities or in telepathic conversations that were proven to be true, but nothing significant of this sort had happened in the past eight months or so. I could keep waiting for it or perhaps the universe thinks it's time that I graduate from this stage of my development and take another leap forward. It has become obvious to me that it is time to rebuild my spiritual foundations. I need to be in a place that I don't need to rely on other people's experiences to acknowledge or believe in my own. 
This is a very difficult step, as human beings tend to want to seek validity of their own beliefs from those that surround them. Perhaps this means that I would have to change how I define the word belief to mean something that is much broader and less prescriptive. Maybe it's not about the definition as much as it is allowing myself to experience milestones on my own without help from my twin flame. I don't have any of the answers yet, nor do I know what does being my own foundation actually mean. I do know is what it does not mean and what I have been doing so far although it may have served me in the past does not serve me anymore. I need to be in a place where if my twin flame continues to reject me, that will have no effect on me or my spiritual growth. I also need be in a place where if I am to be proven that she is in fact not my twin, or that there is no such thing as twin flames, that I am still centered in my own being. Perhaps this is what it means to be centered and grounded, to be well rooted within who I am and what I am here to do that nothing can affect me negatively on an emotional level. Perhaps this is why she is where she is at the moment and I am where I am, maybe this is a lesson that I need to learn as it will benefit me and everyone around me during the next few phases of my mission. We tend to forget that this twin flame experience is all about preparing us for our soul mission and not about a romantic love story, so perhaps her act of rejecting being my foundation is actually the most beautiful act of soul love she could ever give to me. I now know that I must readjust my spiritual roots to become more self-sufficient and less reliant on her. I am not exactly sure how to do so but I am sure I will figure it out. I hope you like the video. Welcome to my channel, don't forget to check out the other uploads.